How can God be one and yet three? The word for one is the word echad, and it's significant because the word echad in Hebrew can actually imply a compound unity. One of the first places it's used is that God creates man and woman and they become besar echad, they become one flesh. It's also used of the Tower of Babel, the people were am echad, one nation. And it talks about the cluster of grapes the spies bring back, and it says one cluster of grapes, a compound unity. God is three, yet one, like man and woman, the two become one, one in purpose, one in intention, one in mission. It's a mystery, but clearly the word allows for it and scripture points to it. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are one. Yeshua says in John 10, I and the Father are one. 